Yo, welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. I'm back. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, fam. If you're new to the channel, stick around. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know y'all liking the videos, what I can change. So let's get into it. So last episode, we talked about paying off debt. You know, that kind of piggybacked off of the four streams of income, the first step. And today we're going to talk about how to upgrade the brand or uh, just some steps to upgrade, create the brand. So this is just uh, kind of an overview of certain things, or an overview of these particular subjects. I'm gonna pull out hybrid manual. You can get this for free on my website at shoelovesrebels.com or you can go to hbsxpopup.com and order a hard copy. All this will be in the description box below, okay? So let's get into it. Step three, create, upgrade your brand or in parentheses, you. The first thing is buying equipment for creating. And whatever you create, you gotta have the right equipment to do it properly so that you can get good at it, master it, be fire at it, and then you'll be able to create stuff consistently because you have it right there. You don't have to go ask your friend, hey, let me use your laptop, let me use your iPad or whatever. You already have everything you need to create. So that's, that's number one. Number two, Gym membership. I, I ain't gonna lie, I recommend this, like for real, a gym membership. The healthier you are and the more you take care of yourself, the better you are to create. The more disciplined you are, the more disciplined you will be to create. That's, that's just it, bottom line. Three, rent or buy a creative space. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this. If there's a space inside your home where you can do these things at, where you can create at, then by all means, or whatever you do, any anything that you do, there just needs to be a space for it. Make sure that what you're doing works for your situation. Feel me? Last but not least, designing logos. When you know what your logo looks like, then you have you'll almost know kind of what the visual side of your brand will look like. You want to have a few forms of representation visually, okay? So that's pretty much it for today's episode. If this episode helped you, please like this video. Leave a comment, let me know what helped you, how you found this channel, or just that you love me because Lord Shu loves you. And last but not least, if you're uh, new to the channel and you stuck around this far, leave, leave me with a happy, happy face that you subscribed, okay? <laughs> Until next time, y'all, it's Lord Shu. Holla!